Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon and Rising, Weekly Tower Reading, May 13th to uh, May 19th, 2019. And uh, just bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards and we can go straight away uh, to the spread. Alright, so the first card that regards to Capricorn's uh, topic of the week, that is going to be the Moon card, followed by the second one, which is uh, the challenge that Capricorn needs to overcome throughout the week, that is going to be the Ace of Pentacles. Third card that we do have, that is the positivity out of the week, or what helps you throughout the week, we do have the Three of Cups. And then the last one, that is going to be the Guidance card. Uh, which in your case Capricorns, uh, this is uh, Eight of Pentacles. So once again, the Moon card, followed by uh, the Ace of Pentacles. Afterwards, we do have the Three of Cups. And then the last one uh, is going to be the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so um, by the looks of it, that, that is going to be a rough week. Not because there won't be... Uh, any progress whatsoever in regards either into relationship or either into career but because you will really have to work for it that is going that that is that is going that that is gonna cause excuse me guys um the whole stress that you're going to experience uh throughout the week i mean everything is going to happen with so much more efforts that than uh than what you're used to to a point where you may start um, feeling that simply things ain't gonna work out while that will not gonna be the case it is just you know uh, probably the circumstances throughout the week that you are to face are not going to be ideal for you to push on to that project you know or to create that relationship or just to have fun it does depend you know what your goal is but yeah, I mean, the, the, the week itself is going to be um, rather um, difficult uh, for you to go through in that sense, especially if you uh, depend a lot on your uh, career by the looks of those cards. And um, how can I describe it? Um, it will be... Uh, very difficult. Well, uh, it will be one of these we got one of these weeks, guys. That nothing happens from the first try. All right. It's just if I have to give myself, for example, that is something with me. I mean, if I, for example, buy a new computer, something is gonna go wrong, and this computer is not going to um, is not going to start from the first try. You know, or if I buy something, there is gonna be something wrong with it. If I try something, it's not gonna happen from the first time. It's just you know, something like, at least for myself, is something like a curse. It's not going to be your case, though, only for just this week. So uh, that being said, do not get discouraged, is what I'm trying to say, if, if things aren't going ideal from the first try that you, that you make in regards to uh, this endeavor. But the first card of yours 
that is going to be the moon which is the topic and the moon card it is a card of um, insecurity and vagueness just in general insecurity and vagueness it is because uh, for the reasons that i just stated you know that you will not know um when you start doing something right either regarding career or either regarding relationship is it going to work out or not i mean you are not going to see the results straight away of your efforts you know you perform into this important project into your career and there are no results in the first couple of days so you start wondering well is it really worth you know pushing into that direction same goes in regards to our relationships um <clears throat> you text to this person you like and they don't respond you for the first couple of days and you start wondering well is this person really have an interest in me and uh, so on and so forth so whatever you do throughout the week is gonna is going to have a progress with uh with rather more efforts from your end than you are used to incorporate into those um into those deeds Additionally to that, the moon card as a uh, as a topic, it does uh, represents as well daydreaming, right? So uh, you may start. Um, uh, it's it's very difficult to explain it. You may uh, start imagining things that are not real in a sense of you know you may start imagining for example that your husband doesn't love you anymore or you may start imagining that someone loves you you know in these kind of stuff so when the moon card is in a is in a, such a prime position it will be best if you don't act on first impressions it is what i'm trying to say all right just Leave, give yourself a time you know that impression that you do have or that feeling that you do have to settle because with the moon card is going to be a bit wild at the start and uh, in most of the cases what you imagine at the start uh, <clears throat> of the emotion or of the feeling or of the, or of the enterprise usually is uh, turning out not to be true because the moon represents that exaggerating phase uh, of, of, of our imagination and uh, of our fantasies as well. Uh, the accompanied card here, this is going to be the Four of Swords. So what we do have, it is a, a passive neutrals and uh, <clears throat> with the passive neutrals, uh, it will be um, it will be a, a time where you will have to spend with faithful companion instead of alone. You know because you're gonna have these impressions, you're gonna have these also um, Im imaginatory or celluloid expectations. Let's say um, <clears throat> daydreaming and so on and so forth. And you need someone to ground you. You need someone to give you the accurate perspective the objective perspective upon what is happening around you right or what is happening in this endeavor that you are daydreaming in or that you do have that boosted imagination so this is what the four of uh, the four of swords displays here and as a as a neutral card as a passive neutral to the uh, moon card I'd say it looks like that they will do the job i mean that faithful companion is going to do the job to a certain extent but it's not going to be able to ease your hectic wavering to ultimate extent all right you will still have that shivers within you in regards to your expectations and you know it, yeah in regards to your expectations and as well um the whole well, it's it's just a normal thing of life and i don't know really how to describe it because not everybody has these situations but it looks like the two capricorns um are gonna have a such a week and i hope that you do get what i am uh what i am saying here talking with this uh faithful companion is going to ease like i said your uh your hectic wavering but still there are going to be the seed of doubt uh within you and uh, so this leads us to the second card, which is uh, the um, challenge. And that will be the Ace of Pentacles. And so the challenge here uh, is going to be to establish um, a, a harmonious flow into, into your relationship. Now imagine that state. Uh, you, are, you, are, uh, you are having these assumptions. Let's say that you do have an assumption that your wife is cheating on you, all right? 
and that is completely created by the moon now when it's created by the moon card you don't have a proof of it but you do have the assumption and you straight away act upon that assumption and what happens is that the harmonious flow of your relationship is broken okay so the challenge here with the ace of pentacles is to maintain that harmonious flow meaning not to give yourself away to the impulse of acting upon those imaginations that you may have throughout the week all right and in the same time you need to maintain the success into your business and into your career the car itself even though in a challenging position it does point that you are finding yourself in a good position of growth it's just you can jeopardize that position if you don't especially business wise you know if you uh, don't approach your matters throughout the week professionally but rather give yourself away to the to the feeling of insecurity instability you know and and, and kind of like a vagueness as well but in the same time <clears throat> With the moon card, um, the, the card itself urges you not to deviate from the path that you have chosen. I mean, if you have chosen a certain career, even if right now it does seem so insecure, so uncertain, it is the word that I was searching for, that should not be a prerequisite for you to quit, all right? And the, the Ace of Pentacles here, it does point that there will be a rare opportunity for you to further your goal, either career or relationship, but it's going to be a challenging for you to spot that opportunity just for the reason being stated before, the, the daydreaming, the exaggerated state of, uh, of one's mind and of, uh, and of one's um, interpretations of what is going on around you, okay? So it's very important throughout the week to uh, look the things objectively and to clinch into your logic more than to your uh, emotions. Now, one thing I wanna say more here, guys, is that if you do creative work, all right, if you are a writer, for example, if you are a singer, if you are a, a, a painter, all right, <clears throat> then the week is going to have a, a very positive outlook upon your career because the moon card gives uh, gives a lot in uh, in one's imagination so if you are writing a book you may come to new narrative that is or you may figure out a new narrative you know or a new scenes that are going to be a, tr a tremendously well accepted okay so you can do a lot throughout the week in regards to a uh, work of art or creative work the accompanied card here with the Ace of Pentacles, that is going to be the uh, star card. So uh, the formation is passive enemies that we do have. And what the star card here adds as a shade is pointing that the moon card, uh, that the influence of the moon card, that's, um, how do you say it? Uh, an imagination without uh, a real foundation state is gonna go away fairly soon. So for that reason, what you need to do in order to overcome the Ace of Pentacles um, <clears throat> as a challenging card is to attend is to attend more to the um, overview rather than to the small irritating detail. So uh, if that regards to your marriage, I would assume that you have to over uh, attend to the overview that you are you know happy that the marriage is going well you know and that you do have some assumptions should not be a prerequisite to provoke the marriage and to bring it into a, a stage of confrontation same goes uh, in regards to career it is just be more prone to the uh, to the grand scheme of things rather than to what is going what is happening um, <clears throat> bit by bit throughout the week that it is uh, making your imagination go wild now the star card additionally to that it it does point that you need to focus on a long-term goal and that will uh, kind of again ease your wavering once again <clears throat> because focusing on a more long-term goal uh, it does seems that it's gonna keep your mind occupied all right and uh, as well it's gonna give you a, a fulcrum for you to focus to focus so uh, that leads us to the next card which is the uh, positivity out of the week or what helps you throughout the week we do have the tree of cups so the name of the game here that we do have is you associating yourself with uh, people you should not spend a week on your own with the tree of cups this is the most trivial interpretation of the cards where through cooperation with others you expand your vision or in this case you obtain the true vision 
not the vision that the moon gives you, which is a, a high exaggerated state of mind and a one day dream, but people around you is going to ground you. So you can count on your friends. Your friends, it is what helps you throughout the week. I mean, if you're feeling insecure in something that is even confirmed with the Four of Swords, try to talk about it with someone faithful, with, with a faithful companion of yours, with a faithful friend, with a co-worker, you know, or just with your neighbor, with somebody. Try to explain the... Um, try to explain the issue and uh, when they give you their ass assessment to it you will see that things aren't looking so scattered as you think they are things aren't looking so insecure now if you don't have friends four of swords previously it does suggest that you should seek professional help you know like for example a business advisor accountant lawyer uh, as a, <clears throat> a therapist as well and so on and so forth who can give you a um a professional opinion uh, upon upon your matters the accompany oh one more thing before i go to the accompanied card here with the, with the three of cups is that you should express your emotions you should not leave any emotion that re to reside within you but you should express it all so uh the the objective opinion of your friends can truly uh how can i place it can can, I would say can banish the vagueness that you are experiencing throughout the week. The accompanied card here, this is going to be the um, the chariot. And so the formation, it is a, a passive supporters that we do have. And through this cooperation, you're going to boost your, not just only your ego, but as well your confidence. Okay, and through boosting your confidence, knowing that you are on the right path, I mean, because you will start obtaining this um, this sense that you are on the right path and uh, eventually you are going to experience the luck of the hard work here. And eventually whatever you are straining toward, whatever you are focusing at, is going to be, uh, is going to be completed, all right? It's going to be uh, achieved. It will require, like I said, efforts, but uh, nothing comes for free in this world. And uh, when the chariot comes around with the Three of Cups, it does represent that people will um, take you as an example. They will admire you for what you endured. All right, uh, but that happens not without their help once again. So your friends this week uh, plays a, a tremendous role uh, in your life. Uh, th that could manifest in so many ways, all right? Uh, you may have problems, like I said, into your marriage, share it with your friends, and you will be amazed how simple the solution of those problems is going to turn out. Just don't try to presume, do not assume. And it's something that I love in one video game, I will not say it because it's going to be an advertisement, but basically the main characters say, uh, you know, just do not presume anything. <clears throat> be always always be uh, ready for the uh, for the worst and uh, focus on what it is do not focus on what could be so uh, the last card that we do have this is going to be the eight of pentacles and that is the guidance for you capricorns so guidance wise the eight of pentacles uh, represents the subtlety the one subtle eye for the minor details all right and as well the willingness to go through ups and downs in order to make the things work. So that card itself tells us that what the assessment of these people, of your friends, may not be an assessment that you have expected, that, that they will tell you that everything is, gonna, is going to resolve on its own accord. You know, they probably is going to tell you that you will have to do things which you are not very exhilarated of uh, doing but in the same time these things are going uh, are, are basically a, a part of one's performance additionally to that the eight of pentacles here guys as a guidance urges you to start manifesting a, a plan that took a long long time to prepare so whatever you are trying <clears throat> to push forward for a, a very long time but you couldn't find the right moment to uh, initiate it well, throughout the week, you are going to find that moment. But only, if you, like I said, if you share with your friends, share your emotions, share your intentions. And through that, 
it seems that you you are to um you are to basically scope and seize the opportunity and the moment as well because the, as as we said with the ace of pentacles there are there is a rare opportunity for you to further your goal it just is going to be very challenging for you to spot it due to the daydreaming in the exhilarated state of imagination one is going to have throughout the week the accompanied card here that is going to be the hierophant card so the formation again it's passive supporters and uh, basically the Hierophant furthers the statement of the Four of Swords and the uh, Three of Cups that we had, pointing that you, sh you uh, should listen to these counsels that you're going to have, you're, you should listen to these conversations, you know, to that benevolent support that your friends are giving you. So, <clears throat> excuse me, through that support, through those conversations, through this teachings, if I may express it that way, you will realize that the uh, the problems you are having of insecurity, that is, are uh, very well solvable when you start thinking in the framework of already existing convictions. So you do have the resolution within your grasp. It is around you and it is yours to take. You know, you do have that um, island of stability. It is just for for some reason you are swimming in the opposite direction and your friends are gonna bounce you uh, are gonna bounce you back so yeah it's very important here capricorn throughout the week to uh maintain your uh your ground right and you do not give yourself away to the um imagination and to the daydreaming and uh, if you find that thing uh, very difficult like i said uh start sharing your thoughts with your friends and they are going to um basically ease your uh, your hectic wavering apart from that it looks productive week uh, it looks uh, it looks a week where you are going to maintain you know the harmonious flow of your relationships and uh, as well the success into your business so keep on going guys and that was uh, your reading for may 13th to may 19 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, we are going to see each other uh, next time until then Bye.